Welcome to the Cougar Connection podcast. Today we are highlighting a new staff member in our new Teacher Spotlight series. I'm Camber Artholoni here with Miss Bannister, who is a fifth grade teacher at Awana Central Grade School. Miss <laughs> Bannister, I'm going to start off by saying thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. And how long have you been a teacher? Um, I've actually been a teacher like on and off for about 17 years. Um, I started subbing for a while, then I was a paraprofessional. And then after that, due to some health reasons, I actually had to take off almost 10 years. So then last year, I was in the middle school as a paraprofessional. And then this year, I tried for the uh, grade school physician, and I got fifth grade. So That's really cool. Yeah. Is there anything special like about grade school that you really, you were like, oh, grade schoolers? Like- well, I'm a, yeah, the kids are great, and they get super excited about certain things. Like Friday, we usually try to do like science experiments and mm-hmm. stuff like that and yeah. I just absolutely love it so that's my yeah. big highlight and yeah I know we published one of your um like we wrote a whole oh yeah I saw that yeah. yesterday yeah that was yeah exciting. that was cool just up in the lab coat and stuff yeah glasses yeah <laughs> like you look super cool <laughs> <laughs> Um, what attracted you to Awana Central? Um, well, I've lived here now for almost 15 years, mm. and my husband's actually on the fire department here in town. Okay. The, um, yeah, the volunteer fire department, and so I met a lot of people yeah. through the community through that, and I just, I really, everybody was just so nice and welcoming, so yeah. I mean, I met their kids, and since I live close, you know, I wanted to get back into teaching. So I chose Lion Essential, and I just love it. Like, yeah. I think it's awesome. I think a good thing about a small community is you you really know everybody. Yeah. And some people are like, well, then word goes around fast. But it also, then you have so many friends, and you get to know everybody. Yeah. And you have such a community to help you behind any challenges you might have in life. So I it's agree. super cool. Because I'm not, like, originally from around here. I'm more up, like... Well, it's in Indiana, but it's by Chicago. Yeah. So I grew up more like city, you know, like yeah. Chicago on the weekends. And so moving here was totally different, but I like yeah. it a lot. That's yeah. good. Um, what is the most exciting part of your job? Um, well, the students, yeah. their reactions to things. I love when, like, you know, you're teaching them and you're trying to get the point across. And then they all of a sudden, like, it's like aha moment. Like, yeah. oh, no, I get it now, you know, and they actually get excited. So that's, I love that. And then. I love the science experiments on Friday. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's like the highlight oh, yeah. of the week. Um, was your plan to become a teacher all along? Did you do anything um, else or? Kind of. I mean, my mom was a teacher, so mm-hmm. it kind of ran in the family. Yeah. And then, like, I remember when I was, like, little, like, grade school, me and my friends would pay, play, uh, like, teacher school, you know, yeah. like, in our rooms and stuff yeah. like that. And we, you know, took turns being the teacher or the student. And so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then in fifth grade, I got this, she's, amazing teacher and it just it's ironic because fifth grade now I'm in fifth grade but she actually had me doing a science experiment that I was really interested in and I told her about that I had done at home so she let me teach in front of the class in fifth grade and like ever since then I was like yeah I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do oh that's really cool (laughs) yeah Yeah, it was fun (laughs) so um what motivates you to like work hard is your family your students like my students for yeah. sure yeah just seeing their faces and like I said like seeing when they really get yeah you know what they're learning and they understand it and just yeah I mean that just motivates me so much yeah and as a student those aha moments are literally the best feelings yeah, in the world it's just sure. like it's it lights up in your brain and then you're smiling for the yeah. rest of the day yeah so. exactly so that's yeah. awesome and you know I just I want them to succeed, and when I see that they are succeeding in something, it just makes it so worth it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, where are you originally from? I know you said up um, in um, Indiana, yeah. Chicago. What was that like growing up city-based? Um, it was way different. I mean, I had a lot of friends. I had, like, a cro- close knit of friends that I yeah. grew up with. And, like, my family was all fairly close. A lot of them are still up there now, actually. So it was just, it was different. It was you didn't know everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, when you walked into the local grocery store, you didn't know most of the people in there. You'd run into people sometimes. But that was definitely different. I mean, there's... There's more restaurants and, like, things yeah. to do, kind of, but then you find your own things in, like, the smaller community, which I like, too. Yeah, that's really... Yeah. I, I've re- always wanted to experience the city life, but yeah. I wouldn't... I don't know if I would actually, like, want to move up there for, like, for good. Yeah. Like, I like it, and I liked growing up there, you know? I was exposed to a lot of different things. Yeah. But I like to visit it now and kind of, like, come back to my, like, hometown. Like, well, not yeah. my hometown, but, like, you know, it's kind of my hometown. It's, like, my town now. So, yeah, yeah, it was, it's nice. It was actually, it's called Munster, Indiana. Mm-hmm. It's, like, at the very tip of Indiana. Like, we border Lansing, Illinois. Mm, okay. So, yeah. 
Um, walk me through a realistic day in the life from the time you wake <laughs> up to the time you go to bed. It depends on the day, but yeah, I mean, I get up, take a shower, have a little breakfast, take some of my meds that I need to take, Yeah, uh, you know, and, um, you know, let my dogs out and say bye to my husband and, you know, then usually I ride the scooter to school. I don't mm -hmm. know if like a lot of people have seen it, but if it's not raining or snowing, I'll ride my scooter to school and stuff. And then, yeah, I teach all day and, um, I come home usually, well, I usually stay like an hour after school and I'm usually there like 45 minutes to like a half an hour before school. Yeah. So then after that, I just kind of get home, eat dinner, try to relax a little bit, pick up any leftovers from the day, you know, that I maybe didn't finish or yeah. student work and, and I go to bed. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any hobbies that you do on the weekends? Yeah, um, I like, like to craft a lot. Oh, I yeah. do jewelry making and like I'll go to like craft fairs or, you know, things like that. Um, I also like photography. Like in high school, I was the head photographer actually oh, yeah. for like the yearbook and stuff. And so that was fun. I always thought I might do something with that, but that's more of a hobby for me now. Yeah. And I like outdoorsy stuff. I like to go fishing and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> Um, we're going to switch to the wider side now, but if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I know this is a hard one, but I've always, for some reason, like, I really liked Michigan. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew up right by, like, the dunes on Lake Michigan. Yeah. And, like, my friend had a cottage, like a lake house in Michigan. And so, like, on the weekends, you know, when we were in high school and stuff, and we had our licenses, we'd drive up there and kind of yeah. hang out, have bonfires on the beach. And I don't know how well I do in the winter there, though, yeah. because it gets really cold. So yeah. I like the spring summer there, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you can meet anyone in the world, who would it be and why? Yeah, that one was kind of hard, too. Um, there's a lot of people I'd like to meet, but I don't know, like, if you watch the Today Show, Hoda Kapi. I don't know if you, you might have I've heard, heard of, her, of her, but yeah. But I don't but know a lot about her. Yeah, she's really uplifting and positive and motivational, and yeah. she just seems like a really good person. So yeah. I just think it would be really cool to kind of talk to her and stuff yeah, and meet her. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, Miss Bannister, thank you for taking the time now to sit with me today. Yeah. Um, it was a great conversation. I really liked it. Um, I agree. Make sure you look out for the next Cougar Connection podcast coming soon.